in this question, we have a signal and we're asked to represent it using elementary functions. So the elementary functions are the unit step, the unit ramp, and the unit impulse. So if we look at our signal, for all negative time, or all time before t equals minus 2, the signal is 0. And it starts increasing in a ramp-like fashion at t equals minus 2. So we can describe it as x of t equals a ramp that starts at minus 2. So that minus 2 is that. So that's the same as saying t plus 2. And you can always check that just by saying, well, if t plus 2 equals 0, t equals minus 2. And that's where the ramp function starts. So that's the, the first part. We describe this ramp function. But a ramp function continues to infinity. It doesn't stop. So how do we tell, how do we describe this discontinuity here? How do we prevent the ramp from carrying on? What do we do? Well, what we can do is subtract from each of these values enough to bring it down. So if you look what I, at what I've just drawn, that in itself is a ramp function. So it's as if I'm subtracting from x of t a ramp function. So I'm going to subtract another ramp function. But this ramp function starts at t equals minus 1. So it's t minus minus 1. So that will give me something that does that. Instead of increasing like that, it will become flat at that amplitude. But what we want is we want this to come down to zero. So what we now want to subtract from each of these samples, we need to subtract this constant value of 1 over a. But we will only want that to start at t equals minus 1. So I subtract a unit step, or should I say 1 over a unit step at t minus 1. Now, so this is, this is our final answer, except that the slope, the slope of this ramp isn't 1. The slope is equal to this divided by that. So the slope is 1 over a. So the answer actually should have a 1 over a here. But now look, oops, I have 1 over a repeated there. So we can cross that out. And now that is our final answer. So what have we got? We've got a unit ramp to begin with. That's this bit. We have the subtraction of a unit ramp that starts at t equals minus 1. And then we have the subtraction of a unit step that happens at t minus 1 as well. So now our signal is 0 until t equals minus 2. It shoots up. And then at t equals minus 1, it goes down because 
of this double subtraction, and then it continues at zero for infinity. So that would be your final answer.